Now for someone. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that followed you here that will stop you from manifesting the glory of God, may it drop dead here. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to shout it loud after me. Say, Father, tonight my heart is open. Visit me. Give me an encounter. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Tonight my heart is open. Open for a visitation. Open for an encounter. open for an encounter someone is praying pray desperately pray passionately pray seriously my heart is open visit me do unto me as you have said do unto me as you have spoken let it be a new season a new dimension of glory in my life Oh, the glory of the Lord. Behold 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 the glory of the Lord. Lift your hands and worship in one minute. Behold the glory. Behold the glory of Behold the glory of Elohim. Behold the glory of the Lord. Behold the beauty of the Lord. Behold. in power move among us mightily tonight in Jesus name we pray please you may be seated I'd like you to pay very rapt attention tonight and that includes those who are outside so many people there please be sensitive when the Word of God comes the Bible tells us that Satan is also interested in the word. He comes to steal the word. He robs you of capacity to understand and to produce fruit. The Bible says that the, those, the seed that fell on good ground were those who heard the word and understood. And it produced for them 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold. May your results be 100-fold. In Jesus' name. Please help me honor again, great man of God, Pastor Nath. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you and your dear wife. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. So we'll continue from where we left off yesterday. If for any reason you were not here yesterday, let me humbly encourage you to get the teaching and stay with it. Stay with it. I taught yesterday on the path to greater glory, showing us the keys by the Spirit that can help men to transition in the spirit and tonight we're looking proper uh, at the team from glory to glory 
I'll be teaching on the evidence of change. The evidence of change. I will show you the indices biblically that show that a person is transiting from glory to glory. Hallelujah. So that you will know immediately whether you are making that transition in the spirit. You can know. There is no vagueness with spiritual transitions. You can know that you are changing or you can know that you are stunted. If you do not know and you do not learn how to discern transitions, you will not know when you should commend your journey or challenge yourself to press for more. Are we together? There are biblical indices that show that a man is growing spiritually and that you are transitioning from one dimension of glory to the other. And as I teach you, for any reason you find out there is a lapse, I like for your heart to be open because beyond the teaching, there are graces that will rest upon people tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The assignment of this grace is to sponsor transition in the spirit that for someone, if you have encompassed this mountain long enough, it's time for you to turn northwards in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, arise and build, this is not your rest. Praise the name of the Lord. And so um, I want to start tonight by explaining very briefly what the glory of God is. When we talk about the concept of the glory of God, not many believers have a very scriptural understanding. We have all kinds of ideas as to a definition of the glory of God. For others, uh, many, they think it is just a supernatural reality you know, the weightiness of his presence, like we call it, and that is true. Others think it's a, some cloud and mist and all of those kinds of things. Most of them are just expressions of the glory of God. And um, the way we learn God is to go to scripture primarily. The scripture contains the most accurate definition of God by any standard. Are we together? We make reference to scripture. He says that the scripture testifies of him. So every time you need a definition of God or everything around God, your first port of call is scripture. Experience is, uh, will put you at a risk if it is not backed up by scripture. It first starts with scripture. Are we together? And then you can support it with any scripture compliant experience. This is just for someone to know. Every time you want to learn God, the boundary of our learning God is the scripture. We are not given the liberty to explore uh, other avenues outside of the scripture. And even with the scripture, it is still guided by the spirit. Because when you try to learn God through any other channel, you stand the risk of encountering familiar spirits and concepts that may be spiritual, but not of God. Are we together? So many people in their quest to learning God and the ways of God have opened up their hearts sometimes in all sincerity and they've gone out of the scope of scripture and interacted with strange familiar spirits. I'm, I'm personally doing a study on the history of the church in Nigeria and um, I had to make reference and you know to call a dear man who did his PhD along that line just to help me put perspective to a story that happened between the 1900s and 1920s in Nigeria and it's amazing how that history repeats itself again so I'm just digressing to show us that your zone of safety is to remain within the coordinates of scripture sufficient intelligence is found within the scripture to educate you until you become the full expression of God's glory if you lack growth through the scripture what you need is illumination are we together now illumination that light shines upon the scripture and then you can see in a greater dimension. So may God help us tonight in Jesus' name. Um, there are many expressions to the word glory. I want to be very fast so we can have some time to pray. But two of them stand out. As you know, the Hebrew expression for glory is called kabod. Kabod is the Hebrew expression for glory. And the word kabod is very interesting because it is concerned with honor, reverence respect and importance the the idea of kabod as an expression of the word glory is really a measure of the worth of a thing so the word attempts to help you understand the extent of value of a person 
the value of a thing such that you it causes you to respect that thing by helping you see how expensive or how desirable it is now doxa on the other side uh, is also an expression of God's glory it is the Greek but generally the idea behind the word doxa is not just showing you the worth but displaying it so while Kabod talks of helping you understand the glory the worth of a thing a doxa is concerned with a manifestation the display of that glory are we together but generally speaking when we talk about the glory of God um, we talk about the weightiness it was an, an ancient way of communicating the worth of things it was used for especially metals because the then world used metals as one of the measures of wealth so the weightier the metal it was considered to be more expensive and glorious are we together so when we say that god is glorious or the glory of god um to us today it is a capture of every dimension of god that makes him god please listen the glory of god is a capture a compendium of every dimension of god that brands him as god it is called his glory are we together so to really learn the glory of god thoroughly you will have to examine as many qualities and facets of God that make him God. For instance, the goodness of God is a component of his glory. And you can spend your lifetime studying the goodness of God. And out of that revelation can come something in your life that will change you forever. The kindness of God is a facet of his glory. The wisdom of God is a facet of his glory the power of god is a facet of his glory are we together so when we talk about the glory of god it is a comprehensive examination of every and all attributes that make god god you see how difficult it is to really learn the glory of god because that means you have to dissect every attribute of god that you know to be able to piece out why god is called god you examine his wisdom you examine his power you examine his glory generally now look up please why do you need to examine these things because number one you were created in the image of god and even though man fell as a result of sin and all of that the restoration process that we call redemption are we together does not just intend to stop at you receiving the life of God in your spirit. Like you'll be learning, there is an end point to our walk with God. I will always teach this as a foundation. Our walk with God does not just end with being saved. Our walk with God is a journey that stretches until we become inexperienced manifestations of his glory. That everything you are learning about God that makes him God, he wants it to flow through you too. Are we together? There is no restraint about every dimension that is within God as far as his desire to replicate it in man is concerned. Only three dimensions of God are reserved exclusive to himself. This one he did not share with man. Number one is called his omnipotence. His ability to be all powerful. He didn't share that with man. No matter how yielded you are, you will not be all powerful. Your ability, authority will be a derivative of your relationship. Are we together? Number two, omnipresence. It is an attribute of God he did not share with man. You cannot be everywhere at the same time. Even if you disappear, you will still appear in one place at a time. Are we together? But the psalmist said, where can I hide from your presence? Even to the deepest parts of the earth, Hades, he said, there you are. There is the all-seeing eye of God. It makes him omnipresent. The internet has tried to create omnipresence, but man cannot be omnipresent. I'm here now and someone is watching me all over the world. Isn't it amazing? It's an attempt to simulate omnipresence. God does not have to look far and turn which direction to see you from whatever point he sees all things all things are bare before him now listen we can only see distance we cannot see beyond time naturally this is another thing about god so you don't have to tell god bless me and see he's already seen the end he's alpha omega are we together now yes 
It's a very powerful attribute. And then, of course, his omnipresence, his omniscience, the ability to know all things. No matter how aligned, no matter how yielded, we cannot know all things. Not within this frame of reality. He says, we see in part and we prophesy in part. Are we together? That's very, very important. And so, for many people... Uh, aside from these unique attributes that brand God as God, he is very open to watch and to share every other thing that makes him God. In fact, he desires that those dimensions find expression in believers. He called himself the light of the world and he says you are the light. Are we together? He's, Jesus Christ is the epitome of the righteousness of God and today we have been made the righteousness of God in Christ. And the Bible says, as he is, not even as he was. He says, so are we today, not when we shall become. Are we learning now? And so when we study the glory of God, it is not just for educational purposes alone, but so that it gives us a picture of what God intends for us to become in experience. So 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18, 17 puts it beautifully. It says, now the Lord is that spirit. And that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Verse 18 says, but we all. This is an experience for everybody. It is not an exclusive reserve for men of God. It is not an exclusive reserve for apostles and pastors and all of that. It says, but we all. There are certain realities that are privy to a few people within the kingdom. For instance, the election of grace. He said he gave on to some. But when it has to do with the business of transitioning in glory, he says we all. Someone include yourself. Say I'm included. I'm included. But we all, regardless my background, we all with open face, he says, beholding as in a mirror or a glass the glory of the Lord. The Bible says we are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of god may that become your reality yeah. so when we talk about the glory of god we're talking about the attributes that make him god in simple terms in simple definitions when the bible says that we desire he desires that we go from glory to glory it means that there be a greater manifestation of the attributes of god captured within your life as you'll be learning you believe that shout amen again so having placed that foundation, let me just discuss very quickly what I have for us tonight. We're looking at the evidence of change from glory to glory. Now, I said something in passing. Let me repeat myself for emphasis that there is an end point. Please look up. There is an end point to the believer's journey. That means when you begin your walk with God, it is not a continuous journey into nowhere. God has an end within his mind. Are we together? When he died for man, shed his blood, called us into glory, the Bible says, there is an end point. There is an expectation. The Bible called it the hope of his calling. Are we together now? That when he saved man, he did not just save man into nothing. God intends that we grow and we transition and the end point is glory that my life and your life eventually not immediately eventually becomes in experience a manifestation of the glory of God and the degree to which that goal that God has for you is achieved upon the earth that is the degree to which you will bring satisfaction and praise to him are we together so we have a mandate the mandate is that we cooperate with the spirit of grace to insist that within the frame of our lifetime that we satisfy that desire that is in the heart of God to see that Joshua Selman, to see that Pastor Nath, to see that the OSS community and every believer that we transition in experience until we become manifestations of the glory of God, meaning the wisdom of God, meaning the power of God, meaning the goodness of God. Are we learning now? This is very important. Say God's desire for me is that I eventually become a manifestation of his glory say that again god's desire for me is that i become in experience eventually a manifestation of his glory in the earth if you understand that you have really understood god's goal you would have understood why he takes the time to invest 
everything that he invests within you beginning at salvation when jesus died for us it was beyond just saving us from eternal condemnation a major part of his death it was beyond just um bringing us away from a life of sin and decadence he had an intent the bible says he called many sons into glory are we learning now so it's very important for us to know that the end point of our journey with god is that in experience we eventually become manifestations of the glory of god here's how the bible puts it it says let your light matthew chapter 5 and verse 16 so shine before men that they may see he wants them to see and glorify your father which is in heaven romans 8 and verse 18 he says for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time are we believers are not worthy to be compared watch this now paul is teaching with the glory that shall be revealed he's speaking to those who are already saved but he's saying god still has a goal there is a dimension of his glory that should be revealed are we together that the the momentary constraints you are going through don't let it distract you that there is a dimension of god's glory that shall be revealed in you you believe that say amen second corinthians chapter 4 and verse 17 we're looking at the word now second corinthians 4 and verse 17 read with me if you see it projected ready one to go for our light affliction uh-huh which is but for a moment walketh for us a far more exceeding what does it work for us a far more exceeding so when the bible says for we know that all things this is what he's talking about that all things work together together your disappointments your whatever it is together are we together like a chef mixing all kinds of ingredients sometimes it makes sense sometimes it doesn't make sense you just be patient with him at the end of it you will see him produce something that is glorious this is what god is doing with your life are we together now that in the making of men nothing in your life is a waste to god he can combine everything everything together and produce glory in the name of jesus christ very profound the bible says in um that should be romans chapter 8 29 and 30 A scripture just came to my spirit romans let's try that it says for whom he did for no he did predestinate yes to be conformed to the image of his son listen that he might be the firstborn among many brethren verse 30 he says beautiful this is it moreover whom he did predestinate them he also called and whom he called them he also justified did he stop at justification he says and whom he has justified what's the next assignment so when you answer the call and then you receive jesus and you are justified if you stop there you've not brought satisfaction to the father that the moment you come into christ justified by faith the next assignment there's no full stop in your life until that word becomes a reality glorified are we together now let's try it again for someone who did not get it moreover whom he did that means that your salvation it was part of his wisdom from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain are we together and then the bible says them he also called and for anyone he calls to himself who opens up to receive jesus receives what justification then those who are in christ now there is still a goal the goal is that <laughs> hallelujah this is very important So many believers have been saved but they do not know that there is another layer of desire from God towards their lives that they become inexperienced manifestations of the glory of God. And like I taught you yesterday, there is a pathway that leads to that. I'm not going to repeat myself again, but just for a quick recap, yesterday we considered a few factors that can help a man transition into these levels of glory. Number one, we said the depth of your consecration, remember? Number two, the extent of illumination, spiritual illumination that you have access to. Number three, we spoke about humility 
that God resisted the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Remember? Number four. What was number four? Who remembers? What did you say? I didn't hear you. Thank you. Greater levels of kingdom service. It is a waste for God to keep making investments in you if you would not use it to serve his purposes. We are called to serve. We are saved to serve. Five and the final one I told you yesterday was consistent thanksgiving. That one who is grateful to God, is, I think it's God's servant, Bishop Oedipo, who will say that um, those who are thoughtful will always be grateful. Are we together now? The key to gratitude is remembrance. If you can remember the goodness and the faithfulness of God, then your heart wells up with joy. And I'm glad that we took a few minutes to thank God even before I came up. But my focus tonight is to guide you by the Spirit of God to see that there are evidences. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18 says, But we all with unveiled faces beholding the glory of God as in a mirror the Bible says something happens to us that our world can relate with are we together yes that there are consequences when we behold the glory of God it does not leave us the same it does not leave us at the same level there is an implication to a man's encountering the glory of God, even higher dimensions of it. The Bible summarizes those encounters by saying we are changed into the same image, not another, the same image from glory to glory, from glory to glory. Are we together? Now, watch a photographer. You use your phone or you use a camera and you look at someone. You don't need to touch the person physically. All you need to do, the first law of capturing an image is focus. You cannot capture an image clearly when you are distracted. And your distraction will show in the image. Have you snapped something that didn't come out like the object because you did not focus? Are we together now? And so when you focus, you take the image. Well, now technology has helped us. But in ancient times, after snapping, you don't even know. Even the man does not even know what he snapped. He has to go into a room called the dark room. Are we together? And do all kinds of rituals there that almost look occultic. But from all those things, dipping in solutions, you begin to see an image forming. And sometimes it's a beautiful image that forms. Now you have it in an instant. If it's a mistake, you know immediately. You correct and start again. Are we together? But that's the idea that Paul is using here. He's saying that as we behold him, like a cameraman wanting to replicate something. If I want to snap Pastor Nat and his wife, I pick up my phone. The first thing is I focus. Uh, I'm not carrying him into the camera, but there is something. I can get all the details. Are we together? And depending on the extent of focus, I can even zoom to very intricate details. And I can capture it such that the person the image on my camera would be as exact as the image there if i take that image to london and i show someone he will say this is is my is pastor not my phone but i have captured his image are we together now this is very powerful so the bible says when we behold him it's an attitude of a photographer a photographer does not look for nothing. He looks to capture. Who is learning tonight? So the Bible says we are changed. This is a mystery because a photographer is not changed. It is something that is added to his camera. But this kind of looking, <laughs> that when you look, at the end of it, you are the one who is changed. Are we together now? And that there is a transitioning that is happening to you that the version of you that gets into his presence to behold is never the version that comes out. You are changed. Moses, Moses, this scripture was most displayed. It was adumbrated in the man Moses. Moses went to the presence of God and while he spent time soaking in the glory, he did not even know. I hope you know that he went to get the law. He, he was focusing on tablets of stones and his mind was on the tablet of stones did, not knowing he was the one who had changed. By the time he got out of that place, the people saw him and they, called, they he had to veil himself. They said, no, 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 no. We cannot stand you again because something has happened to you. He did not even know. Are we together now? There are evidences 
when we encounter God don't tell me that I am beholding show me the evidence as I'll be showing you now there is always an evidence of change are we together now when a farmer plants he may not be able to show you his evidence of planting at once but be patient there will always be something that comes out from that soil that shows you a seed was planted in are we together now yeah. the first day a woman takes in it's not the first day she shows signs of pregnancy she may not even be aware but pregnancy does not care it has happened it has happened are we together eventually certain changes no matter how modest no matter how careful no matter how intelligent appetites will begin to change mood will begin to change are we together perceptions will begin to change and certain physical adjustments will start being made to accommodate what is going on are we together now this is how it is when you tell me you are beholding him when you tell me you are transitioning from glory to glory i want to show you three just three tonight and we'll pray there are three evidences that if i cannot find in your life it is not the god of the bible you are doing business with who is learning tonight open my eyes oh god go ahead and pray in one minute open my eyes in the name of jesus there are evidences that validate a believer's transition from one level of glory to the other in jesus name we pray evidence number one the first evidence that shows that you are transiting in the spirit successfully from glory to glory is greater conformity to the character of christ greater conformity to the character of christ please write that down greater conformity to the character of christ this is the first evidence the first thing that shows in your life that you are encountering God and you are transitioning. You are becoming like the Christ in experience. Greater conformity to the character of Christ. That means there is a greater outworkings of righteousness from your life. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter your experience. If it is the God of the Bible, you have chosen to serve you have chosen to behold you have chosen to invest your time your days your attention to let me tell you the truth that transition must happen you can come as you are but in his presence you will never stay as you are when you stay as you are it's an insult to the power of his presence because his presence changes people is the reason why when gabriel came to zechariah and Zechariah doubted his word. He said, I am Gabriel that stands in the presence of God. In other words, if I am a liar, will I remain a liar in the presence of God? You are not insulting me. You are insulting the presence from which I'm coming from. And he said, I am Gabriel. And the mouth of Zechariah was shut until the day he agreed with God and called it John. Are we together? No matter how bad you are, just make sure it is the authentic presence of God. You will change. Saul will turn to Paul. Are we together? Cephas will turn to Peter. Abraham to Abraham. The reason why many people, even though they are around the fold, they remain the way they are after many, many years in church. You cannot see the glory of God. It's not necessarily that they are bad people. It's that they have not truly learned the power of practicing his presence they have not learned to invest their lives their time to his word and in the presence for instance the confession that you made before i came up it's impossible to truly be a child of god and mean that to believe with your heart and confess with your mouth and indefinitely remain at the same level no are we together the outworkings of righteousness we call it the fruit of the spirit galatians chapter 5 and verse 22 it says but the fruit of the spirit are we still bible students the fruit of the spirit is love you may have heard me teach this that the real context here is not just love and joy and peace in truth other versions will say the fruit of the recreated human spirit so what happens here is that the fruit of the spirit is only one it is love are we together and now it's not for you to harass anybody you hear teaching anyhow no the purpose of teaching is for enlightenment are, are we together 
don't go out of here and someone says the fruit of the spirit is love and joy. Say, hey, so hold on. That, that is childishness. Don't, don't do that. Right? But just to, for you to know that the fruit of the spirit is love. But that love expresses itself in various forms. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness. They are all attributes of love. God is love. Are we together? But in his presence, the presence of that love, there is fullness of joy. Are we together now? Yes. It's important for you to understand that. So the fruit of the spirit, for at least let's take it the way we've always known it, is love, joy, peace, patience or long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Next verse 23. Meekness, temperance or self-control. It says against such there is no law. Let me tell you this. No matter how the story and the situation around your birth it doesn't matter the things that happen in your life or don't happen it doesn't matter if you are Igbo with all due respect Yoruba Hausa Ghanaian you know whatever it is when you come into Christ as you behold that glory are we together that nature something must begin to work in you I would always teach it this way that you know you are changing when it will be difficult for people to connect you to any physical territory they can't tell whether you are really Yoruba or Hausa maybe by your facial appearance and by your language but by the negative attributes that come from our territories people will stand and say you you don't behave we know your people are lazy what happened to you we know your people get angry are you, are you are, that you have to tell people I am Yoruba or Hausa because based on attitude, they cannot trace you to any earthly territory. You truly look like somebody who comes from heaven. But you see, this is not the case. Hold on, hold on, hold on before you clap. This is not the case. There are still many Christians when we see you, we still see where we are coming from. You know what I'm talking about. We see both Abel and Cain. <laughs> are we together? So we see Abel who loves the Lord, but anything that triggers you, the old man, the eastern and the western and the middle belt and the, everything just comes out. I'm still there. I'm still there. I'm only quiet, but it doesn't mean I'm not there. If occasion calls for it, no, it ought not to be so. Conformity to the image and the character of the Christ. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 17. Be patient with me as I read this scripture. Are you learning tonight? I'm showing you the evidence of change that if it is true that you are encountering God by his word, by his spirit, this should be the first evidence in your life. This I say therefore, be patient as I read, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Aha, uh -huh, 18. Having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. 19 now, it says, Who being past feeling have given themselves over to lasciviousness. These are the works of the flesh, the works of the old man. To walk on cleanliness with greediness. Verse 20, it says, But ye have not so learned Christ. If so be that ye have heard him, and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus Christ. Verse 22. That ye put off. Somebody say I put off. Shout it say I put off. In the name of Jesus. Again say I put off. The former conversations he says of the old man. There is a way the old man speaks. There is a way the old man speaks because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And he's saying that if you come into Christ and you are growing in Christ, are we together? That it must affect even your conversation, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. 23, it says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. We're still reading 24. And that you put on, say I put on, in the name of Jesus. You see that now so it's like a garment he says to put off right now it says to put on i like this to put on the new man which is af which after god is recreated or created in righteousness and true holiness 25 he says wherefore putting away you didn't say that one no putting away speak every man truth with his neighbor for we are members of one another. 26 now. It says, Be ye angry and sin not. 
Only God can help you to be angry and sin. <laughs> Are we together? He says, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Me, when I'm angry, nobody, I'll get angry and until the sun goes down. <laughs> 27. Neither give place to the devil. We're reading to 32. Be patient. He says, let him that stole. It's okay that you stole before, but now that you are in Christ, as subtle as these things sound it is amazing how many believers want to remain in Christ and yet unchanged are we together and I know that we are called to teach a gospel of love we are called to forbear with people and be patient with people but you see the value of patience forgiveness and forbearance is when you see a committal in the person to transition it is a waste investing forgiveness, investing tolerance when there is no determination within the person to become like Christ. Are you getting me now? So we need to balance it. Showing love and showing kindness and helping people is predicated upon an intrinsic hunger or the awareness of an intrinsic hunger within them to become like Christ. Else, else, showing love and kindness and leaving people who refuse to grow it will now become a cancer to the growth of others are we together it's like having i know this works well with potato you have potato and then you carry one rotten one just smuggle it somewhere and leave it there are we together you leave it there and it's only a matter of time it begins to spread and destroy the others we do not teach condemnation but we charge people that while we forbear, forbear with all the limitations and attributes of the flesh, you must see a committal in the individual taking the advantage of the supply of grace to transition. This is the balance. Are we learning now? Yes. Let him that steal, steal no more. If you steal and steal and steal again and steal and even where the grace is available and steal, it's no longer weakness. It's a decision. Are we together now? Let him that steal no more. Steal. Steal no more. But rather let him labor. Walking with his hands the things which is good that he may have to give to him that needed it. 29. It says let no corrupt communication proceed from your mouth. But that which is good to the use of edifying. That it may minister grace to the hearers. Verse 30, it says, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Two more verses. Ready for next? It says, Let all, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Final verse. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake the outworkings let me tell you this nobody can achieve this result in the strength of the flesh no matter how disciplined you are all you need to do is avail yourself and receive the enabling of the spirit are we together look how the bible describes this kind of individual it is difficult to be this kind of individual in nigeria are we together because you don't even need to look for anybody's trouble just wake up and somebody somewhere are we together somebody somewhere that someone hits your car and still insults you and yet the bible says love it says to forgive to become like christ beyond being a great preacher beyond being a great musician let me tell you the character of christ brings beauty to what you teach the character of christ within you brings beauty your your the outworkings of righteousness in and through your life are we together it gives value to anything you do whether it's business whether it's ministry hallelujah I don't want to bore you with a story that I've given time and time again when we were a lot younger. We went, for, went to rent instrument, Pastor Nat, for a crusade. And I entered into a church and the man was preaching. He was even preaching about the wealth of Solomon. And that was my first experience with the Pentecostal circle. I said, what, why are these guys shouting like this? I sat down quietly and when he was done preaching, 
we now came to greet him and beg him for instruments i mean it was not up to 10 15 minutes the way this guy insulted us he and he used some words that um, a child of god should not use so i was watching with shock this man who they just shared the grace in my presence i desire to be like jesus in experience it's a desire are we together that whilst you are on that journey there must be that desire that one day people look at your life and say the jesus i've not seen i can see him expressed in this brother in this sister if you believe that for yourself say amen. amen let me tell you this everything you call virtue everything companies are looking for everything corporate organizations are looking for is captured in the fruit of the spirit they only turned it to become policies they are looking for kind people they are looking for diligent people people who do not steal the way to really become marketable even in business is to have the character of Christ it's just that the unbelieving world do not know that is the nature of Christ they are looking for so they tell you this man is a business you are you are honest you are they try to give it all kinds of sociological words but these are attributes that outside of the spirit you cannot have it sustainably are we together when someone says I'm looking for a very honest PA he's just using his idea of honesty what he really means what his spirit man is saying is i'm looking for someone who reflects christ in that area even if the man himself is not born again he's still looking for jesus he's looking for jesus in a secretary jesus in a driver are we together every time you frown at people's behavior you saw an outworking that is not consistent with what god is looking for who is learning now that means when you become like jesus is beyond just a journey to fanatism you are preparing yourself to also live a profitable life on earth it's impossible to carry a rich capture of the character of christ and your world ignores you there are not many people like that there are many many attributes that make jesus one is called faithful and true my god in this wicked world show me a friend who is faithful and true and i show you one who will never be alone you will have people look for you because you are faithful and true how about patience first corinthians 13 love is patient love is kind love is humble does not boast does not lift itself endures all things do you know that's what you are looking for when you find it in a woman you change the name you call it wife when you find it in a man you change the name you call it husband when you find it in a business colleague you call it a profitable it's still jesus christ you are looking for the world is looking for jesus they will just not admit it's him they are looking for so jesus now says since they cannot see me can i duplicate my character in you and send you everywhere i hope you are learning now so when someone insults you and the former you would have now slapped the person or insulted the person you can say well it's okay i understand i forgive and the person is shocked because human beings out of the help of god don't behave like that they revenge they will fight they will do whatever it is are we together it is my prayer for someone here that the first proof that people will use to know you are a christian is not anointing are we together now that the first proof that people will use to know you're a christian is not church language bless you good person but that they can you know there is an energy when you reflect christ you keep quiet and someone will say pastor they don't know you but that's the only way they define what is happening to their spirit the bible says they shall call you ministers of our god are we learning now and it don't, you don't have to be on suit you are you're on jeans and yet jesus is so evident through your life before you open your mouth someone will come to you and say you know what my life has not been working well has that happened to you that when you invest in intense moments of prayer maybe fasting consecration someone just comes to you and starts sharing their problem is because their spirit is looking for jesus and anywhere they see a character display they may not know what is leading them to you the opposite is also true when they run away from you 
there is such pungency that comes out from your spirit even if you are speaking like a Christian who is learning the outworkings unfortunately and, and I say this with all due respect this is not emphasized in church again because we're a generation of power we're a generation of signs and wonders and that is wonderful are we together but until we restore people to the value of carrying Jesus carrying Jesus in your office carry not by talking Jesus alone uh -uh. Uh -uh. there were times Jesus was silent they still knew it was him they still knew it was him I desire beyond being an anointed man I desire beyond being a man of God that within the privilege of the lifetime God has given me that my life will be the richest capture of Jesus that I can be revealed to my world we say it in koinonia Jesus revealed Jesus glorified it's not a cliche it's the truth it's the truth it's the truth it's the truth let me remind you that no man can attain unto that I'm sorry to say it and I don't mean to hurt your feelings but every time you see trouble in organizations trouble in homes trouble in destinies someone has compromised on the character of Jesus look if you understand if you use Jesus as a reference it will explain many things when there is betrayal something has happened someone has been beguiled like Judas beguiled like Eve for as long as you stay gazing on that which causes you to manifest the character of the Christ you will become such a worthy portrait that people will come and learn God through you and say I have seen a man that looks like God John chapter 1 from verse 6 and 7 the Bible says there was a man sent from God his name was John the Bible says in verse 7 the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that through his witness all men might believe all men might believe all men so the first index for measuring growth is conformity in experience greater conformity to the character of Christ let me tell you honestly none of us has attained unto it mm -mm. this is a journey that we die daily and we press daily I like Paul Paul puts it very beautifully are we together he says not that I have apprehended yet he's saying this it's an honest admission that even though you call me a great apostle I've not yet apprehended I'm still on that journey he said but this one thing I do I forget about the things that distract me and I press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ are we learning now so you must make up your mind that in the name of Jesus from this conference one of the take home assignments is that I will take the business of evolving in experience until I become like Jesus people should not just see you and say you really this wickedness so it followed you too your grandfather used to have it I thought because you went to school you won't have it it's because you've not died when you would allow listen the cross is a mysterious place it's not just a place a memorial where Jesus died it's a place where all men who want to be glorified die are we together now father walk upon my heart walk upon my mind walk upon my character who is joining me to pray go ahead walk upon my heart Cut away the excesses from my spiritual life. The mix of salt and water. That which, that which makes you um, a great person today. And then anger. And then lust. And then the works of the flesh. You get angry and you can tear anybody into pieces. And then calm down later. And then do it again. And say it does not matter. Are you praying? Outside. Following online. Please pray from the depth of your heart. You want to become like Christ in experience. You must press by grace, by the Spirit. A greater conformity to the character, the image of the Christ. Yours is the kingdom. Yours 
is the power yours is the glory forever amen yours is the kingdom yours is the power yours is the glory forever we are still praying father everything in my life that does not represent the character of the Christ I pray tonight that there be a circumcision within my heart can you be honest enough open up your heart and pray that prayer everything everything cast your golden crown and cry before the Lord in one way go ahead and pray Yeshua. Ah, 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 Hallelujah. Now, please look up. Do you know that the Christian faith is also a culture? I have traveled a bit and there are people that when I see and they talk and I interact with, I can literally, without prophesying, tell their original places of origin. There's been people, for instance, say from the Yoruba descent, Igbo descent, Ghanaian descent, and even if they've spent 30 years in the US or anywhere around the world, something within them implicates them. Are we together? Their accent, their look, the mannerism someone can be 30 years old in the u.s and sees an elderly person and prostrate on the floor and you know immediately you can almost suspect with prophetic accuracy that that is most likely a yoruba person am i right on that so also when you come into the faith you can be so furnished are we together so furnished you can carry the character of christ when you see your brother and your sister from the same culture deep will call on to deep that is the mystery of meeting people in one day and it looks like you've met them before because you have it's a spirit communication you don't know them after the flesh but there is a synergy of spirit are we together now i'm praying that in the overseas and among every believer here that there will only be one family not two it will be one family of people who can call themselves brothers and sisters not as a church cliche but that you so look like one another because it's the same thing you are beholding you are beholding the same image and you are being changed being changed in the name of jesus christ very quickly number two the second evidence of transformation the second evidence of change are you learning tonight what is the proof how can i tell my world that i have met him how can i tell my world that i have stayed in his presence and i keep staying in his presence key number two evidence number two extraordinary fruitfulness extraordinary fruitfulness the second evidence that a man is transitioning from glory to glory is that barrenness dies it must die one thing that does not survive the presence of God is the absence of fruitfulness. John 15 from verse 1 to 8. Fruitfulness, extraordinary fruitfulness. Give it to us please. John 15 from verse 1. I am the true vine and my father is the husband man. Verse 2. Every branch in me. So he's using a tree now to explain relationship every branch in me that beareth not fruit what do i do he taketh away and every branch that beareth fruit he purges it so that it may bring forth everyone say fruit say more fruit one more time say fruit then say more fruit so to the one who begins to bear fruit god appreciates you for what you are doing but he presses a deeper level of consecration because he desires more fruit verse 3 
now ye are clean through the word which i have spoken unto you for it says abide in me i like this abide in me in theology we call it the law of abiding and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself are we together that means the believer who is producing extraordinary results the bible is telling you that when you see a life producing consistent ever increasing result that state already tells you that he's been assisted by his spirit are we together now that it is not in humans unassisted by the spirit to produce fruits indefinitely except it abide in the vine no more can ye except ye abide in me verse 5 i am the vine and ye are the branches it says he that abided in me and i in him help me the same not another the same even if that person is called joshua selman the same bringeth forth much fruit much fruit i like this fruit more fruit much fruit for without me ye can do nothing verse 6 if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and withered and men gather and cast them into the fire and it is burnt that means your lampstand is taken away that means your relevance diminishes there is an explanation to a worse tomorrow a worse today in most cases is because people have stopped abiding they have stopped beholding we examined that yesterday if you abide in me and my words abide in you you shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you the last verse 8 herein is my father glorified that ye bear he didn't say that ye bear fruit he told you three levels of fruitfulness fruit more fruit much fruit and told you what god wants he said much fruit so if you are bearing fruit well done but you are not yet there if you are bearing more fruit well done you are not yet there until you get to a realm of much fruit much fruit this is the realm where kings come to the brightness of your rising gentiles can come to your light but kings don't come to your light they come to the brightness of your rising for someone you have enjoyed the ministry of gentiles get ready to step into the ministry of kings in the name of jesus christ you have experienced a measure of fruitfulness honestly anyone who looks at you can tell that god is helping you but you see you have stayed at that level for long may you step into a level of fruitfulness where kings will look for you in the name of jesus the real prophet as far as dominion is concerned is when kings look for you gentiles will come but gentiles cannot reward your sacrifice every great reward is in the palace joseph interpreted three people's dreams the wine presser the baker and the king two of them left him in the prison but when he interpreted the king's dream he came out of the prison immediately never to return there hallelujah extraordinary fruitfulness who is learning tonight that when you encounter god it is not only character you get the god who focuses on your character alone is not the god of the bible the god of the bible focuses on your character but does not live your life the way he met it he plants in you a grace fruitfulness is a product of wisdom listen fruitfulness is the evidence that the wisdom of god has found expression in your life it is impossible to be fruitful if wisdom is not at work who is learning many people have character but they have not received the wisdom of god it tells in their businesses it tells in their finances and don't tell me it does not matter the world sees character but the world needs to see results too results in the area of fruitfulness again i make reference to your pastor pastor nat is a man that loves god with all his heart but for many people who know him around the world even those who have not seen him there's none of their business necessarily with his character it is the fruits that draw them to him then they now see that this is a good man indeed are we together the queen of sheba did not come to meet solomon because of his character 
she came because of the excellency of his wisdom but when she came and met him she now said ah half of this was not told me oftentimes what attracts multitudes to jesus through your life may not necessarily be character because character is very silent it requires staying with you for a while to see its benefit but results are visible they make noise they sound the alarm to the nations are we together now praise the name of the lord god desires that you produce results and i'm telling you that results and extraordinary fruitfulness in this kingdom is a function of wisdom proverbs chapter 8 1 to 4 doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice it says she standeth in the top of the high places and by the way the places of the path verse 3 she cried at the gates and at the entry of the city and the coming in at the doors verse 4 unto you O men i call and my voice is to the sons of man let's try to verse 6 then we'll jump to verse 15 for sake of time verse 5 now oh ye simple he says understand wisdom and ye fools be ye of an understanding heart verse 6 verse 6 here yeah, for i speak of what the secret to excellence is to have wisdom wisdom will always speak of excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right things now please jump to verse 15 jump to verse 15 by me kings so next time you say i am a king and a priest before you embarrass yourself make sure you are speaking with wisdom by your side because a king that is void of wisdom will follow the way of kings that perished in the bible the kings that lasted were kings that were fortified by their wisdom are we together now by me kings reign and princes decree justice next verse it says by me princes rule and nobles even all the judges of the earth 17 i love them that love me and those that seek me early early you had personal sharing yesteryears when you would go around unilag with airports and praying and moving around that is wisdom today the fruits of the wisdom is showing how about honor to authority wisdom is showing i'm praying for you in the name of jesus where it has been evident that your life is bankrupt of wisdom tonight let there be a supply of that grace there is an operation of the holy spirit called the spirit of wisdom isaiah 11 the holy spirit can come upon a man as the spirit of wisdom and help that man how do you know the wisdom of god is at work in you the quality of the decisions and the choices you make in life because decisions decide destiny listen decisions decide destiny say that after me decisions decide destiny and if your decisions are not sponsored by wisdom it will show are we together many of you here i'm telling you just two decisions derived from wisdom can change your life many people have made poor financial decisions poor decisions in terms of their work with god poor ministerial decisions are we together now all of these wrong decisions and with all due respect not not to hurt your feelings there are many people marital decisions decisions family decisions sensitive destiny decisions they didn't make that decision out of wisdom and the result is showing today that wisdom was not there every time there is continuous pain wisdom did not participate in that decision because wisdom only speaks of excellent things are we together it is wisdom that tells you that even though you have skill you should go and honor a father to receive a blessing because the bible says to choose her more than gold choose her more than silver and he manifested that wisdom and today it is speaking now on sunday you are going to have the opportunity to receive of the grace of god upon god's servant our father that he will come and make declarations even if he just comes to say god bless you you see men speak from the altitude in the spirit that sacrifice and grace has taken them to it is not just what they say it is where they are speaking from are we together someone can say god bless you and that's it growth answers to wisdom results answer to wisdom 
dominion answers to wisdom there is glory in wisdom if you are learning say amen, amen. so the second area where we see the evidence of the glory of God the evidence of our transition is in the area of fruitfulness let me give you one last scripture Colossians chapter 1 from verse 9 and 10 Colossians chapter 1 9 and 10 someone's life is changing tonight in the name of Jesus I sense in my spirit that someone is angry because you are seeing now that truly your life would have transitioned people look at you and they can say you are a man of character you love the Lord but when it has to do with bearing fruit your life is not a good witness are we together and quite honestly I can tell you I have met people like that they are like Nathaniel in the Bible not this one now <laughs> an Israelite indeed Jesus said in whom there is no guile but when it has to do with producing results <clears throat> we live in a world today that is very vocal about results there is a kind of evangelism that results must back you to be able to speak it are we together For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, please pay attention, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will. Watch this. In all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Verse 10. That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Now read with me. Being fruitful in how many? Every work that can be done, the Bible says, get result there. Produce result. If it's in ministry, excel in a way that brings glory to the name of the Lord. As a worshiper, excel. As a career person, excel. Someone prophesy, say, I excel. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again, say, I excel. In the name of Jesus. I made up my mind, and this is not from a competitive standpoint, I made up my mind that for the glory of his name every area God has sent me that is part of my mandate that I will do it with excellence 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 it's a covenant are we together make up your mind as a preacher that by the mercies of God you will be extraordinary in dispensing communicating truth as a business person as a hairstylist don't damage another person's hair because you are not competent obtain wisdom read books buy the truth say amen, amen. let me tell you the truth when you become competent your transition to a realm of glory and experience becomes easy because kings will look for you kings will look for you kings don't just look for men who are like christ in character they search for men who have paid the price by the word to have the wisdom of christ the wisdom of christ breathe lord breathe breathe lord breathe breathe upon my life upon my life I like this part I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified I'd like you to cry in the next one minute Father fruitfulness I'm tired of a life without results I desire results mention the areas in your life where you desire results is someone crying to God 
the nations must learn you through my life they must learn you through my life they must learn you through your wisdom at work in me your wisdom at work in me businessman pray man of God pray parents pray that they can learn God through the wisdom that is at work in a man producing fruits evidences of grace evidences of glory evidences of growth please pray hallelujah watch this everybody look at me pastor Nat, please let me hold your trumpet for one minute everyone look at this if you were ever told as a child that a man would hold this and with it open the gates of nations this is not an instrument for him this is the fruit of wisdom hold on hold on there are many trumpet players on earth that's why you will know that this is not trumpet this is a key a key that came from the secret place are we together please listen listen if you miss this you would have wasted your time this night when wisdom is at work in you ordinary things reflect the glory that you carry when he's in the presence of God this thing does not talk this thing does not worship he made it a worshiper the worshiper that comes from this is derived from the person who has become a worshiper in the secret who has obtained wisdom are we together now the songs that have come out the sounds that have come out you know how many churches you know how many ministries across the globe men who have had encounters by listening to this wisdom let me tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen please hear me many believe for low self-esteem huh you need beyond counseling you need results the only thing patients acknowledge the hand of god upon your life there is a consolation that comes from there the fig tree was planted it was not blossoming that was the problem it was fruitfulness jesus still caused it i can tell you behind jealousy behind envy huh? behind backbiting is lack of fruits when you produce authentic extraordinary results are we together everybody becomes a partner in progress I told you there are three levels of fruitfulness there is fruit there is more fruit there is much fruit when this was adumbrated in the parable of the five talent the man who had five the man who had two the man who had one the guy who had one was angry you see it now and he did not know that that was a test to transition him the Bible said he gave them according to their several abilities I don't have the time to begin to tell you ladies and gentlemen my life today by the mercies of God is a product of what the wisdom of God can do in the life of ordinary people if you lack wisdom you won't rise it's not a cause it's the truth are we together wisdom wisdom that comes as inspiration early who said there is a spirit in man I remember one time when I was I think it was the Oasis conference or one other conference and while I was preaching I noticed Pastor Nat got up and just walked out I didn't even know what he went to do it was later on when he was coming up the stage with me that I just found out that within that time as I was preaching King Eternal a song came from the spirit he's not sang it yet King Eternal I was teaching on the King Eternal King Immortal someone was sleeping and someone was connecting to heaven and receiving another song that opens up a ladder someone say wisdom let me tell you wisdom is an equalizer it doesn't matter how bad your background is let wisdom land upon your life it will define your space in destiny it's true nobody will ask you where you are coming from when you carry wisdom The end time army 
must be an army that will demonstrate the wisdom of God. Thank God for character. But ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you, if your life does not bear fruit, much fruit, you will be depressed, you will be angry. There are many young people right now, you know, I, I, and, and I'm telling you sincerely, haven't gone to school, haven't done all the things that they do, they stand stagnated indefinitely. And they're saying, I cannot understand this. I love you, I'm not corrupt. I love Jesus. But my life does not produce results. It is wisdom. I'm saying that so that you will cry tonight and say, Lord, I have allowed your character to be formed in me, but at this point in my life, I need results. Bring consolation to my Christian experience. I'm not serving you because of results, oh, but Lord, please, let my hand be able to taste your faithfulness. Let me know what it means to carry the wisdom of God and to dispense the same. The Bible says in Luke chapter 2 and verse 52 that Jesus, your Jesus, increased in wisdom. Wisdom. The first part of his increase, wisdom and stature and favor with God and with man. When God came to Solomon in the night, Solomon would have asked for the life of his enemies but he cried for an understanding heart. He said, I don't have the advantage of experience. I'm a young man. If I depend on my, I would just experiment my life into circles of pain. I need wisdom that is older than me. And God said, because you did not ask for the life of your enemy or mundane things like silver and gold, that which you ask for, I will give it to you. And even what you did not ask for, and do you know he woke up and there was no evidence the first time his wisdom will be put to test were two harlots who one slept on the child and killed the child and exchanged the child of the other but when they stood before him wisdom that is of god always works with the word as soon as the sword was brought the real person who had the child was revealed the word of god that sword the wisdom that comes from god always works by the word let me tell you the truth. I submit to you. What you call a rent issue may be a rent issue to you. But there is a level of wisdom. And you see, I'm saying this because many believers right now, the area where we are hit the most is in the area of finances. To a point that it has become mockery, push people to the corridors of compromise. Money is not everything. But over 80% of your journey to advancement is depending on finances. There's no point hiding it and acting childish. Let me tell you sincerely, if wisdom is not at work in you, you will keep confessing, I will not beg and I will not borrow till the day you get angry. What we need is wisdom. Who believes me? Wisdom. Results are powerful. Oh. Let me tell you. Ask your pastor. Results are powerful. It's true that you can love people for who they are. But most times you love people for what they do first. Then when you come close, you now find out who they are and you love them the more. Waiting for people to just love you for who you are. Praise God. I hope you find people who love you that way. In a bedeviled world like this, it is your result that draws people. When the woman ran, the woman at the well, she said, come see a man. She didn't say, come see a good man. Come see a man that told me prophetically everything I've done. And the people came. They didn't come because they loved Jesus. They came and when they sat down, they said, ah, now we believe not just because of what we said we have seen him there is a reason why god designed results to speak there's a reason why god designed signs and wonders to speak hallelujah i remember many years ago i have given this testimony we'll pray shortly one of the first spectacular miracles i remember god doing through my life and in the ministry it was a spectacular healing of a spine condition that thing rattled the teaching hospital in Zaria at that time. You see, it was on phone, no? On phone. Phones just came out. Or they, I think something like that. And I prayed for a gent. I don't know if I expected him to be healed, in all honesty. Today, at least, I can tell you the truth. Because that kind of condition, no wonder God didn't allow me to see the person. But the miracle that happened, you know how people gather for burial? That's how they gather to verify that gentleman whether it really happened. And from that time, I tell the truth and I lie not. 
within 24 or 48 hours I got calls from doctors and nurses from the hospital everybody revealing their secret problems that they didn't tell anybody please so I've not told anybody but I'm suffering people will not keep quiet when they know you have solutions nobody will waste their time telling you their problems when they have you a track record of failure around your life whether as a man of God or as a businessman but let people find that you carry the grace of God upon your hands I'm praying for someone here in the name of Jesus Christ the people you are looking for they will begin to look for you from today I say to you the people you are looking for my God will begin to cause them to look for you they will look for you they will wait for you they will invest to see you in the name of Jesus when the wisdom of God rests upon a man let me tell you the truth it is not only believers that will acknowledge his hand upon you are we together now the wisdom of God is like rain when it comes upon you you will bless both the godly the just and the unjust hallelujah this is something that I've prayed for in my own life I prayed and I said Lord I don't want to be a foolish preacher thank God for character but I want you to honor me with this wisdom hallelujah I had the honor by the privilege of God's grace and that to the glory of God when Harvard University reached me earlier this year to come and do a lecture not to preach I did a lecture in two of the faculties not all of them are Christians some of them are not even believers I said is it to preach or to give a lecture they said to give a lecture Gentiles can see your light and kings kings it's a different thing if a congregation calls you to come and do a seminar but when a world-renowned institution calls you you sit in front of professors I had a zoom meeting with them briefly and when I interacted with them by zoom I said these guys are intelligent you know intelligence is in levels there is intelligence that is nationally acceptable there's intelligence that is global so at that time you, you, you don't just go and say nonsense and do you know from that time God began to open doors aside from mainstream ministry what I do the grace and capacity to speak to kings whether it's business people whether it's professionals I vowed that my relevance will not just end on the pulpit And I prayed that grace because I saw it in Dr. Miles Munro that that man he transited and went beyond he was an advisor to kings and I said Lord what is wrong with excelling on the pulpit and being able to serve value to kings someone here you will advise presidents in the name of Jesus I speak to you you will advise presidents you will advise heads of government in the name of Jesus by your advice you will stop wars by your advice you will bring territorial unity in the name of Jesus the dimension of wisdom that has not been seen in many spheres may my God at this conference deposit it upon your head in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please sit down wisdom has proofs it is impossible to carry wisdom and not have the proof you came here to receive and while I'm speaking someone is receiving you are a businessman it's clear that you have ideas but this wisdom of God and do you know you can gain wisdom by reading materials but there is wisdom that comes in his presence and honestly I want you to believe me believe me it's not all about learning principles so there are times you can kneel down and out of nowhere an idea just enters your spirit hallelujah I think it was pastor Tony Cole he was with us on Sunday and just an opportunity to speak over the people and he was sharing how the Sahara group came into being it was in the secret place one idea now most people who don't even have money and influence they wouldn't listen you, you see the problem now those who really have the results are there learning and panting to grow 
and there are people who with all due respect not to insult they've not even started and they will not listen my brother let me teach you something save yourself trouble going around in circles stay with him something he will do to you will cause that the things you were to look for will gravitate to you i'm telling you that pastor nat is very musically educated but in all fairness ask him how many songs just came by the experience of music they were enhanced and arranged by the experience of music but primarily they dropped by inspiration are we together now yes he said my heart is indicting a good matter yea i speak of excellent things that my tongue is the pen of a ready writer that's the scripture god gave me for word ministry my tongue i don't write nonsense on the hearts of men when i open up my mouth my tongue is the pen of a ready writer hallelujah you know the reason why sometimes they play these things for me it's not just some pentecostal gibberish i back up my life with the word it says i will reveal my dark sayings upon the harp when it was time for elijah to prophesy say bring me a mistral and as they played the mistral the bible says the hand of the lord came upon him and he said you shall not see wind you shall not see rain let me speak it to someone that in this season you may not see wind you may not see rain but may your valley be filled with water may your valley be filled with water May your valley be filled with water shame and reproach is far from your life far from your life far from your life in the name of jesus shout this after me say in the name of jesus i step into a new season i step into my new season say it i step into my new season greater glory open your mouth in one minute and turn it to prayer in this season let the old go let the old go i step into a new season a new season of results global results global results global results bringing glory to the name of the father not for the glorification of flesh global results hallelujah praise the name of the lord the thing about wisdom is that wisdom does not ask for many opportunities wisdom just asks for one when wisdom is at work in you you don't have to fast for 10 opportunities just one one song one opportunity to stand before pharaoh you see life does not have too many opportunities to throw around sometimes in your lifetime you can have only five wisdom prepares you one song one song one song can turn your life as a worship minister one sermon can announce you to your helpers one business idea hold on let me give you the last key before we allow the holy spirit rest in this place your life must change this night hallelujah the kinds of testimonies that will come out of this some of you before december 31st you will run to pastor Nat. i'm saying it to someone who has faith that before december 31st you will say i have seen the fruit of wisdom i have seen it that the wisdom of god can walk through mortal men hallelujah number three let me give you number three what is the evidence that you are accessing greater levels of glory confirming to the character and the image of christ number one number two fruitfulness extraordinary fruitfulness and that by the superior wisdom of the spirit 
the wisdom that comes from above what is number three the third result that is an evidence that you are truly transiting in glory is greater empowerment greater empowerment to reveal Jesus and then to turn many to righteousness greater empowerment you cannot see him and not carry grace and not carry the anointing are we together the anointing Acts chapter 4 and verse 33 greater empowerment to reveal Jesus and to turn many to him with great power say power shout it again say power with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon how many upon all including you including me in the name of Jesus in Acts chapter 19 from verse 12 my God I sense a strong anointing in this place Acts chapter 19 we have to start praying now I sense something heavy someone's destiny is like God is in a hurry some things must shift some things must shift I'm telling you I'm sensing a strong anointing there there are distributions of graces distributions of graces I sense an anointing a strong anointing in this place I sense an anointing sense an anointing hallelujah listen it said handkerchiefs and aprons verse 11 were taken from the bodies of Paul are we together God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Verse 12, let's hurry. So that from his body were brought unto the sick, handkerchiefs and aprons, and the diseases departed and the evil spirits went. Do you know this is not how he started? He didn't start at this realm. He didn't start at this level. But as he kept growing, a time came by the spirit. He became an effulgence of the glory and the power of God. Verse 13, quickly. 13. He said there were certain people who tried to replicate what he was doing. Verse 14. I'm trying to jump as much as possible. 15. We're reading to 22. The Spirit answered, Jesus I know. That's what happens when you carry grace. He said, Paul I know. You are known both in the earth and in the realm of the Spirit. Verse 16 now. He says the man whom the evil spirit came on, he leapt on them and so on and so forth. Verse 17. He said this news of Paul being able to cast out devils and others trying and failing it went all around and it was known to the Jews and the Greeks and fear fell upon them all read the last sentence and the name of the Lord verse 18 and many that believed as a result of the wonders that came from the hand of Paul many believed the Bible said they came and they confessed and showed their deeds verse 19 many of them which use what listen when you are empowered by your witness becomes easy it is difficult to convince people that Jesus is Lord when you do not have the empowerment of the spirit you will tell stories and be tired alone T.L. Osborne went to India to preach and he went with character he even went with wisdom sincerely and after preaching there were no signs and wonders he felt pain, he felt embarrassed, he went back and he cried before God. He added this last component and he went back to India. When he went, they did not listen to him. He said, let a blind person come, let a crippled person come. And as soon as miracles erupted, people began to shout even before he preached. Can I tell you, the human spirit was designed to acknowledge the wonders of God. Men have not invented a technology yet to ignore the supernatural. They will always respond when they see God at work through mortal men. Many of them which use curious arts brought their books. That means they always wanted to surrender it. But they did not see a power greater than what they were using. Hallelujah. And burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them. Watch this. 50,000 pieces of silver worth of evil was destroyed. Evil has a price. 
50,000 verse 20 as a result so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed and prevailed and prevailed in fact let's stop here listen I learned this in life and in ministry by the message of God that in all your preparing to serve the purposes of God Psalm 92 and verse 10 you must contend for supernatural empowerment but so now Jesus came upon the earth he was already the word he did not become the word he came as the word the word that became flesh you would think because he came as the word he would not need empowerment for 30 years Jesus did not have empowerment and he was silent but when he was ready to start ministry he came and was baptized of John your Bible says and when he came out the heavens were opened and the Holy Spirit rested upon him as in the similitude of a dove and from that time it was exploit upon exploit upon exploit upon exploit till he purchased salvation for us can I tell you for someone here the truth is that these two dimensions I have taught you have received the missing link is power as a man of God genuine empowerment and when I talk of empowerment I hope you know I'm not just talking of falling down and standing up the capacity to be used by God to bet solutions solutions that are supernatural like telling someone by this time tomorrow may God change your life like telling a barren woman in the name of Jesus carry twins carry triplets and she returns nine months later as the Lord had spoken here is your final prayer tonight before we begin to pray Psalm 92 and verse 10 I've prayed this for myself I prayed this this morning while preparing for tonight he said but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn I've been anointed before but oh God tonight may I be anointed with fresh oil fresh oil fresh oil fresh oil hallelujah hallelujah for the next two minutes you are going to pray all of these three dimensions especially the last Lord I desire to manifest the character of the Christ in experience I desire fruitfulness in my life and that by your wisdom at work in me and finally someone needs to pray especially if the call of God is upon your life Lord fire from heaven let it rest on this head this night open your mouth in one minute and pray but my heart shall thou exalt but my horn shall thou exalt but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn but my horn shall thou exalt fire is about to fall here but my horn shall thou exalt In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. I believe with all my heart that the grace of God has been trying to rest on many people. But for various reasons, that grace has not come on you. You see, the possibilities, the results that we command in this kingdom is predicated on the kind and the level of grace that is on your head. As you see your pastor standing in all honesty, you are looking at a man and you are right. But if you were to see in the realm of the spirit, you will see beyond the frame of a man. There is a certain grace that produces this result. Are you seeing that now? Anybody that carries that kind of grace will replicate the result. That is the truth. Behind the wonder-working possibilities of men, there are graces. Businessman, it would take more than an idea, more than buying and selling. You believe me on that. 
when your results are ordinary you will not bring glory to the name of the lord my dear sister listen to me god can place grace on your music ministry and take you right from this place and announce you to the world are we together god is not a politician man of god god can lift you god can give visibility to a mother don't say i'm too old uh -uh. abraham and sarah it was not too late for them hallelujah we have a few minutes left but i want you to receive something it's called from glory to glory that you should not just walk out of the conference and say wow this is wonderful there are fearful testimonies we want to hear are we together now that just one week after now many of you will bombard personal with emails and all kinds of and say i can't be silent this is god has moved in a way i have never seen never seen hallelujah praise the name of the lord do you believe in prayer do you believe in prayer now i'm going to ask you to find a serious neighbor just pair yourself with a serious neighbor and for just one minute i'd like you to pray sincerely let it be from your heart god cause my neighbor to be fruitful in an extraordinary dimension turn it into prayer turn it into prayer turn it into prayer man of god we are stepping into a, an era of the church. Extraordinary fruitfulness. Turning many to righteousness. Turning many to righteousness. Extraordinary exploits. But the people that do know their God. The people that do know their God. They shall be strong. And they shall do exploits. Exploits in ministry exploits in business exploits in family exploits in their finances exploits in career we're stepping into a, a realm a level of the church where god will be greatly glorified in the world of men through the church the manifold wisdom of god revealed through the church the power of god revealed through the church vessels of glory vessels of glory evidences of his grace 15 more seconds you are praying shabalaka barakatas krakata baka barakata barakatos labranta barakata barakatos sabaranta barakatos yekate Yes, Lord. Grace. Grace. Who are thou mounted before Zerubbabel? Who are thou mounted before my destiny? Who are thou mounted stopping my next level at the shout of grace? At the shout of grace, at the shout of grace. Eke baka brato keta At the shout of grace. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, I like you to lend me your attention for the next five ten minutes. Your life is about to radically shift. Are we together? now the first prayer in a strange way is not going to be a prayer it's going to be a shout hallelujah there are obstacles and blockades that have stood in front of your destiny that you will not pass this shout is called the healer it's a shout that brings victory it's the kind of shout that caused jericho to sing are we together now listen i'm going to ask pastor not to lead us I pray in the name of Jesus that you will not be familiar with what is happening now and that your heart will be childlike enough to obey prophetic instructions under the influence of the spirit 
I'm going to ask him to blow that trumpet. Here's what will happen. When that trumpet is blown, you're going to shout the word hallelujah. Hallelujah means halal Yeshua. It's a language of triumph. Are we together? As you shout, see yourself in a triumphant entry. Entering new seasons. See yourself having a triumphant entry. In the name of Jesus. I want you to believe it. You obey this instruction and watch what becomes of your life. A triumphant entry. I'd like you to see it. See business walls crumbling. Are we together now? See limitations as a result of altars and all kinds of satanic things crumble. Are we together? At the count of three. As he blows a trumpet, you will shout hallelujah and then begin to pray that every high thing, every mountain, everything I'm, I'm i'm ready to step into a next level of glory god is ready to announce me and since that power could not stop the trumpet since the trumpet has already sounded then it means my transition are you ready to pray now yes sir please go ahead advancement enter a new season a new prophetic season enter a new season a new ministerial season that the world will hear your voice the world will hear your voice they will see his hand upon your life someone pray someone pray i enter my new season glory to glory glory to glory glory to glory hallelujah hallelujah listen listen to me prophetic moments like this let me tell you what is happening to you some of you have you have shouted one idea is entering your spirit man some of you as you are shouting God is waking some people somewhere and telling them the man I said you should bless bless him speedily bless him speedily bless him speedily do you believe that hallelujah listen let me tell you the truth hear me God lifted me by his grace but he lifted me through the ministry of men not every man cares about your growth but when you know how to connect to prophecy God will touch the heart of those that see you as special those that you matter to we are going to shout that shout one more time and here is the context you are going to say father every human vessel connected to the next level of my glory let there be a connection in the spirit let this shout be a shout of connection is someone ready to shout again yes sir please
used by God to announce you, to lift you, to shift you to a new season by prophecy and by the blast of the trumpet. May God bring them. Hallelujah. Every transition in the spirit depends on the word of God, the ministry of the Holy Spirit, and the gift of men. The word of God, the ministry of the Holy Spirit, and the gift of men. Are we together? Watch this. This man is at this level, but according to God's prophetic calendar, he should be here. He may not have capacity to go. Are we together now? But I am here by mercy and grace. And I can extend my hand. Hold my hand. Are you seeing this now? The assignment of the ministry of help is to make your journey possible and to make it easy. Don't forget this. The ministry of help makes your transition possible and easy. Possible and easy. Possible and this gentleman can remain there even though it is in God's prophetic desire that he comes here. Let me tell you how God helps men. The Spirit of God will rest upon him, but the Spirit of God will rest upon me too. Are we together? And draw me to pay attention to him in an unusual way and I will hold him and say, I have capacity by grace to help you. I have capacity by grace to help you. I have capacity by grace to help you. Are we together? Thank you, sir. Hear me? When I arrived yesterday, we were having a brief discussion with your pastor. And he was telling me about the good news. The miracle on how they got the property. It was the hand of God. And according to, by the time the woman found out, as from what he said here, when she found out that it was Pastor Nat you see that now she was willing to go the extra mile to provide whatever help that will make that purchasing that property possible when God sends let me tell you this hear me hear me just calm down a bit there is nothing more frustrating Pastor Nat than being gifted but being around a people who have no discernment for your value are we together there is such a tragedy men of God listen there are times that God has granted you grace but you are speaking to the wrong audience doing business with the wrong audience when you are in the presence of those who do not need you or do not have value for what you carry they may even make you frustrate the grace of God on your own life because you'll be wondering is it that God has not shown me mercy let me tell you how God helps such a man God relocates you to a place are we together now God will keep changing your audience until you stand in the presence of those who have been praying for your arrival I want to tell you honestly I have had the privilege of being received in ministry I've not had this issue of being rejected here being rejected here God has granted me that grace but I can tell you sincerely I have seen preachers anointed really anointed I've seen worshipers with great songs I've seen people who carry fire men of consecration but their own becoming is that they have not appeared in the presence of those who have an appreciation for what they carry are we together now so my prayer for you now because you see destiny actualization is God dependent and is also men dependent today the world celebrates Pastor Nat because of the hand of God upon him but he has touched the heart of men to receive of his ministry are we together? he has touched the heart of men to receive of his ministry else you will go to a nation and they will reject you corporately not because you are not anointed but because they do not perceive that they need what you carry we are going to shout one last shout. This is what the shout is for. Hear me. Lord, edit the audience around my life. 
and bring to my life the men who have an appreciation for the grace you have given me you place grace upon me may that grace not be insulted by men who do not have an appreciation therefore as you are shouting what you are saying is strategic helpers you are welcome men who have the eyes to see the anointing you carry you are welcome is someone ready to shout one last time those following online make sure you participate by faith yes sir thank you what you carry value for the grace value for the sacrifice value for the knowledge value for your tears value for your pain value for your experience with God value for his wisdom upon your life value for your skin and your feet may my God bring them may my God bring them may my God draw them in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray where you have wasted energy serving a people who have no recognition for what God has given you I call upon my God that from tonight may my God take you where you will be received may my God take you where you will be received may my God take you where you will be honored in the name of Jesus that God will take you to a people who have value for your pain value for your sacrifice value for your tears value for your experience with God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the Lord it is God's goal that everybody will eventually by the mercy of God and by the Spirit of God have global visibility not everybody will be at the same level but everybody can be heard are we together now god cannot place a grace upon your life and not want it to be heard and to be known let your light so shine before men he didn't speak to preachers that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father which is in heaven i want to speak over your life that in the name that is above all names I'm praying, standing in faith with Pastor Nat, and we're declaring over someone here, everything that has covered your glory, shut your voice, covered your relevance, so that the nations cannot hear and receive of the hand of God upon your life. I command that veil be lifted. I command that veil be lifted. That veil be lifted. That veil be lifted. That fail be lifted. That fail be lifted. That fail be lifted. The veil upon your gift be lifted. The veil upon your head be lifted. Covering your glory be lifted. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One last prophetic instruction. Please listen, everybody. Please listen, everybody. You are going to pray one prayer. Lord, as you lift me, I vow that men will see you through my life. Listen, 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 listen. Yesterday, remember we said this? It is the one area that many people keep missing so that you don't waste the amen you have shouted. The reason why God lifts people is so that they will project him better. They will project him clearer for the nations to see. Do you understand this now? The reason why God anoints you, grants you wisdom, grants you money. Once you take God out of the equation, my brother, we've been wasting our time tonight until Christ is restored at the epicenter of both your passion and your end point. It must be Christ all the way. This is the difference between a carnal pursuit for result and material things and a kingdom driven desire to see Jesus glorified. Hallelujah. The Lord told me years ago, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. Pastor Nasso sang it beautifully. 
when you are done he says take the glory i am satisfied just to see jesus glorified it's going to be the last commitment you will make tonight that commitment god may heaven not regret my rising may heaven not regret that i was promoted may heaven not regret that i was lifted may heaven not regret the bible says and it repented god hey. it repented god that god's heart does not become heavy because you became a billionaire that your billions will not lead to the corruption of your soul and the destruction of others that granting you the visa will not take you out of the will of god to your doom that you will not be like Lot that left the place of the blessing because of access and went to Sodom and almost died there. Is someone ready to pray that one prayer? Please open your mouth and pray. Father, I obtain grace to glorify you. That as you glorify me, you will be glorified. It's called the reflection principle. John 17 and verse 1. Jesus lifted up his eyes to the heavens and prayed and said, Father, the hour has come. He said, glorify your son. John 17, 1. Glorify your son. That your son might bring glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, I stand in faith with God's servant. Every grace that lifts every grace that announces alanto sheke la kuskiata parato sevre nike paradusia the grace that gives men visibility beyond borders beyond cultures someone is receiving beyond borders beyond cultures the grace that locates you the grace that announces you i'm releasing it from my spirit the grace that announces you regardless where you started from there is a man of god here that anointing is coming on you oh it will announce what you carry it will announce what you carry it will announce what you carry by the spirit of god receive that grace right now in the name of jesus christ receive that grace now in the name of jesus Hear me. It is one thing for God to keep what belongs to you. But it's another thing for your eyes to find it. This is what God did in the life of his servant. God can allocate a place for you because God is a God of portions. But whether your eyes will see your portion or not, it takes grace. It's called the miracle of open eyes. I want to pray for you. Your allocation in prophecy, what belongs to you, connected to your assignment that your eyes has not seen it i decree and declare by the spirit of prophecy after this conference may god open your eyes to see it i release that anointing upon you may god open your eyes to see it. see opportunities see helpers see secrets see mysteries in the name of jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I have not heard of anywhere where your pastor has gone to as God has granted him grace. Where the nations rejected him or threw him away or asked where are you coming from. Therefore, for your shame. Everywhere shame has followed you, rejection has followed you, especially that you are a member of this spiritual family i pray for you right now let that yoke that cause of shame that cause of reproach let it be lifted now lifted now lifted now lifted now lifted now in the name of jesus there's no time to pray for the sick. Dr. Andy is around, and I'm sure that he will take the time to minister to the sick. Please go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Please go ahead. 
Pastor Nat has spared me a few minutes. Please. Can I pray for your body? Yes. Listen. Yes. Don't allow sickness and disease. I was just going to shut down on it, but I'm grateful to him. I've been a victim of sickness, so I would have died since. Since. Most people don't know why we minister healing to people until you have become a victim of sickness. Hmm. When the doctors say, listen, this cancer, bar, there's no way out. Just prepare, greet your wife and your children and prepare to die. That is when you will see the necessity of the miracle yes, working sir. power of God. Hallelujah. I know he heals because I read it in his word. I know he heals because I'm a product of his mercy. I would have died sins. Let me tell you, sins. I know he heals. I know you are here. Here in you. Place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit. I know, I know you are here. I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I want to minister the life and the power of God. And I want you to believe. Whether it's a blood-related situation. And I'm speaking to those who are connected across the globe. There are people who are following. Some of you probably are on sick beds. Give God a chance tonight. God is not a man that he should lie. You are in this place and you are trusting God for healing for yourself or for someone you know. Please release your faith. Please release your faith. I want to pray right now. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, every spirit that is at the back of any infirmity here represented, right now, I speak by the power that raised Christ from the dead, May that spirit live your destiny now. Spirit of infirmity be gone from God's people now. The Lord is showing me someone. God is healing you from a teeth problem. This is severe pain around your teeth. The power of God is touching you right now. Anyone here with a blood related condition. Blood, hepatitis. The anointing of the spirit is touching that person right now. Help that lady. In the name of Jesus. Blood related condition. I call it by name. And I declare the fire. My God. I, I sense such a strong. It's like a wave of the anointing. Just, just resting on people and bringing healings. Just resting on people and bringing healings. Just resting on people and bringing healing. I cause that blood condition right now. I cause that blood condition right now. I cause that blood condition right now. Whether it is HIV, whether it is hepatitis, whether it's high blood pressure, low blood pressure, be healed in Jesus' name. I'm praying for any fullness. I'm speaking to someone following online, someone outside, perhaps someone in here. You are having any kind of fruitfulness related issue. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it be corrected now. Let it be corrected now. PCOS corrected now. Fibroids corrected now. Lumps corrected now. Reproductory issues corrected now. The Lord is showing me someone you have. I've seen this I've, I've seen this I think at a miracle service or one other service I've seen this exact thing I don't know the medical name but your body fights your body your body fights your body so even without taking anything autoimmune something 
your body fights your body i pray for someone this is not how god created you if there is anyone with that condition i'm praying right now in the name of jesus we speak to your cells we speak to your tissues we speak to your organs be healed now every issue of blindness my god help them that helps us be healed in the name of jesus eye conditions be healed now ear conditions let your ears be open now in the name of jesus in the jesus whether it's a loved one or you if there is anyone here with any trace of cancer help that lady the power of god is please help her please help her in the name of jesus any trace of cancer in your body or for anyone following right now prostate cancer um liver cancer leukemia kidney whatever it is by the power that raised christ from the dead cancer be caused now cancer be caused now cancer be caused now every bone condition you, you are not able to move any part of your body you're having mobility issues perhaps you cannot walk or you can't have a free movement i declare be healed in jesus name now whether i mention your case or not we may not have the time to take testimonies but as many of you that the hand of god has touched you can always testify at the later part of the service tomorrow when they call for it but i want to pray for you god is healing someone of chest pain very very severe pain around your chest be healed right now in jesus name I'm seeing the photo of a, a little child, a girl. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. She's not growing. This is a baby. But the baby is not growing. Like how a child should grow. Not walking, not growing. I don't know if that is autism or whatever it is. But right now in the name of Jesus, I use this vision as a point of contact. You will never give back to anything that will not grow. I say to you, Yours may not be a physical child, but may you never give birth to anything that refuses to grow. In the name of Jesus. Let me use this opportunity and pray. We did this. This was during the Sound of Revival in Canada, I think particularly. Or was it in US also? To speak over children with mental health and autism. Do you know there is a generation that the devil literally wants to capture yes, sir. autism and mental by the time you have a whole generation of children whose coordination i don't believe is a mistake this is my opinion i believe it's a calculated intentional thing by satan to make sure that a generation is not coordinated enough to serve the purposes of god I don't know if there's any parent like that but i'm not going to ask you to come out i'm working on borrowed time but if you know anybody with any mental health issue or autism please stand in faith for them right now and for anyone who is following your child your neighbor's child anybody at all it doesn't matter what level autism and mental health young children i was told um uh, one of our ladies was was telling me that just i think not too long or so that there was someone about early teenage he was about to jump and kill himself to commit suicide what does a 12 year old child want to commit suicide for whose school fees is he paying satan for you you know when moses advocated the exodus of god's people pharaoh was negotiating he said okay the men can go but leave the women and children he said no way he said these ones can go but leave the cattle behind moses said the instruction was that all of us Hallelujah. together someone say as for me say and my house don't forget to add that say as for me and my house we will serve the lord we will prosper we will go forward 
we will be healthy we will reign as kings we will go from glory to glory by this declaration i declare that any child here or following online belonging to anyone here suffering from mental health and autism we restore their sanity now we restore their sanity now we restore their sanity now in Jesus name we pray hallelujah let me make the altar call and allow pastor not just lead us as the spirit of God grants him grace it's good to always even if it's for one minute to celebrate the hand of God we seal miracles with thanksgiving yes. but let me make that altar call I know please no movement around let's honor this call ladies and gentlemen it pays to know Jesus it pays to love Jesus and it pays to serve Jesus you cannot serve a God you do not love and you cannot love a God you do not know it starts by knowing him someone you came for tonight's session you are in this beautiful auditorium and around the overflows outside and for those who are following online you're saying apostle pastor Nat, if you will lend me one minute i will be glad to rush and come and make this decision for jesus you are in this place without any sense of shame i want you to know that the lord loves you that's why he brought you here we are empowered to reveal Jesus and to draw many to him. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3 says, They that be wise, that they will shine like the stars, and they that turn many to righteousness, that like the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness will be as the stars forevermore. One secret of going from glory to glory is to be and remain a soul winner, drawing many to righteousness. During the ministration, or while I taught, or while God's power was moving, you were convicted by the Spirit of God and He's telling you, you need to make things right. I want you to know that Jesus Christ loves you. He wants to give you a new beginning. For you, this begins your journey from glory to glory. Wherever you are, I'm going to count one to five and I want you to very boldly leave your seat, take your bags, your Bibles, whatever you came to church with very confidently and I'm going to ask you to come and stand here. If there are any persons who are coming from the overflows, please let's make sure we coordinate them so that they are here on time. Once we count five, they'll have to stay wherever they are so that we save time. You are in this place, I count one to five. I'm looking for the first bold person who will say, Apostle, I'm not ashamed. I will stand and come to Jesus. I begin my counting now. One, God bless you. God bless you. The Oasis, let's celebrate salvation. God bless you. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my brother. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Who else is coming to Jesus? Come to Jesus. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. God bless you. Come. God bless you. Two. Let's celebrate them. They are coming. Yes, sir. God bless you. I believe in you. Keep coming. I Keep believe coming. Three. I count five and we begin to pray. Jesus, Jesus the Son, Son of God. Four. I believe. Those coming from outside, they should make haste very quickly. God bless you. Jesus, Keep coming, my sister. Jesus, the Son of God. Oh, I believe in you. I believe God bless you. God bless you. Now, hold on, please. You are saying, Apostle, can I join them to rededicate my life to Jesus? I'm not sure what I'm doing. I don't exactly think I'm a sinner, but I'm not sure. There is such a thing as the assurance of salvation. You can know that you are saved. The Bible says, he that is joined to Christ is one spirit. You can know that you belong to the Lord. If you are in that category and you've been praying secretly, you can join them. Let me give you one minute to come and make this rededication. Very quickly, very quickly, please. Oasis, let's sow that seed of encouragement. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, you're the Son, 
Let's celebrate Jesus with this song. One minute. I believe. I believe. I see my sister coming. Are you joining us? Come. God bless you. salute every one of you the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away here at the oasis conference we are glad to lead you to this jesus the one who's called us the one who's given us this commission to draw many to righteousness may i request that you lift your right hand to this jesus not to joshua selman not to pastor nathaniel bassi not to the oasis community but to Jesus, the lover of your soul. Say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my savior my lord and my king i declare that the power of sin and satan and hell and the grave is broken over my life i'm a child of god i go from glory to glory grace to grace amen father thank you for this once your word declares that as many who come to you you will in no wise cast away we present them before you we call them the righteousness of god in christ jesus and we declare that you receive the grace to live the victorious christian life from tonight and forever you are a child of god a daughter a son of the most high you go from glory to glory grace to grace in jesus name please let me request that you arise all of you and there's a lady there are a few sisters waving their hands at my right please let me request that all of you just follow them in concert and they will have a quick word with you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord now i will request pastor Nat, even if it's just one minute of praise it's a principle to seal the things that you have received tonight hallelujah and then from there we can take it but i want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to minister the life of God. And I pray that you will go from glory to glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please, can I, I'm going to, there are some instructions I got there. And let me assure you that the angel of the Lord would escort you home. Amen. Trust that. Because as, the, as you live from here, the hand of the Lord is upon you to deliver you from the enemy. And from those who lay in wait by the way. Now, I'm going to blow one last time over you before you go. Please, wait. Can we stand up and just worship? So that I don't interrupt the worship, I want to acknowledge a few people. We have my brother here, Brother Walter, who I call an apostle in the marketplace. Celebrate them. He's here. Minister Myro. We love to give honor to whom honor is due. I want you to do me a favor. In the last 24 hours, this man of God has dispensed at least four hours. Four hours of solid word and spirit. Apostle is not poor. If you have this sort of grace and anointing and add the kind of value you add, there are certain things that you don't lack. But I want this conference to honor him. Now, I'm not going to... I want you on your own. Get an envelope, get something, and get a, a prophet's offering. And just... I'm not asking you to so, so that you get just honor the sort of quality of word we've had. Do that for every man who ministers here. It's a principle I've lived by. <laughs> if I share some testimonies, you'll be 
Some of you may, because of this madness on the internet, you know, they will just misquote people. But I could have told you one. Lift your hands. And we will say that you are good. All the miracles you've done has brought us joy. We are changed. change and transform we place in you right hey, father we declare there is someone on the overflow the one downstairs that God is opening a major travel door for you you can tap into that if that concerns you in the overflow downstairs a strange and mysterious door will open you are supposed to go abroad it has not happened for some reason but after this conference mark this word it is recorded and it will be played back by the strange workings of the finger of God God is opening a major international door for someone in the overflow downstairs I'm going to blow this trumpet one more time 
we've seen strange liftings and strange things by the sound of this horn we have people from this house I have a daughter here from this house who the vice president of a, of a European bank here in this service normal person but through the grace of God in this house God has lifted people we have daughters who work for the American government who were, who were nobodies through prayer prophecy serving God now scattered around the world God placed something special on this life some of you may have seen the video I was in Albany, New York and the mayor they declared the 6th of October Pastor Nathaniel Bassi Day and while I was ministering they're just worshiping revelations 4 came to me verse 1 and i'm going to blow the horn again father i ask one more time in this anointing mark people for glory i stand with your servant apostle selman those online There is something I can't tell you people but in the next two months you see it on the news. How God can lift a man. After this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. Now what did the trumpet say? Come up hither and I will show you this trumpet sound is to lift people up and to open your eyes. If you believe the Lord your God, you shall be established. If you believe his prophets, you shall prosper. When you hear the trumpet sound, you will not only shout, but you will what? Break out in rejoicing for three minutes. 